Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I was just about to come in here all by myself when I looked outside and I saw Jim had finally gotten home. He went to the apartment house and to the other little house because we have two other houses and he was mowing the lawn. And then uh, I guess um, he had to come back home. I didn't know he came back home because he needed to get a tarp for Emily. She wanted to cut the bamboo that's hanging over the driveway that's over there. There's bamboo that was planted by the neighbors and it's really invasive bamboo. Bamboo is terrible. So I would have never planted it, but they planted it. And it's coming into our, it will ruin our blacktop probably if it keeps going. I don't know what it will do, but she's gonna chop it down. <clears throat> this feels like it's boring. <laughs> it does. Well, enough about Emily and the blacktop and the mowing. But I was waiting for Jim. Today I watched a bunch of videos and I watched, a long time ago, I watched Chef AJ. And then when I went from Chef AJ, I went to Casey Durango. And then from Casey Durango to Dr. West, Westman. And then I was, I came into the ketogenic way of eating. I, I just kind of traveled around. We were traveling actually in the car at the time. Jim had made a hot spot on his phone so that I could use my iPad and my iPad was getting really hot because I was just going from video to video to video. I watched all of Chef AJ's and then I watched all of Casey Durango's. Then I watched all of the ones I could find of Dr. Westman's and I saw the one where he put the page four in there. And then I, um, Casey actually printed out the page four so that we could get it if you wanted it. So I printed out the page four. So I had all the ketogenic foods that were allowed and not allowed. Well, I was watching um, Chef AJ again because I'm finding that I'm still doing keto, but my weight has kind of stalled. It's stalling again. And I, I have a feeling that because I, uh, of my because I'm a girl, first of all, and my age and different things. I think I have to kind of customize my way of eating to my own um, design rather than follow somebody else's design. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've been doing that just a little bit. And I've actually dropped a couple pounds. So I'm, um, I'm still... I'm still far away. I'm like 12 pounds away still, but I will, uh, but I went up a little bit and then I went back down. And today I tried something that I made it, but it's not the way they made it. I did a little bit different. I made what it was, it's supposed to be Chef AJ's brownies. They put, what they put in it? They didn't, they just put the chocolate and a can of black beans in it where I put a can of black beans in it and I put a whole zucchini squash in it because I wanted to get the zucchini squash used up. They used a lot of sweetener. I only used two tablespoons of sweetener, so it's really, and it was a sweetener that is approved. I don't know what it's called. That, uh, that Truvia, shape, I think Truvia. that one is. I think so. I used like almost two tablespoons. It really wasn't even two tablespoons because the container is just about empty. It was one that I gave Emily a lot of the the sweetener that was in there because I thought maybe she could I didn't like it at the time because artificial sweeteners to my my taste buds were horrible and I didn't really like it but I've I've got it down to where I just put very little in it so it's really not sweet so if somebody else ate it they would think it was yuck but I actually think it's pretty good even with the very little sugar and it's it's uh, moist it doesn't taste like it. It's chocolate. You had to put a lot of cocoa in it, which I did put the cocoa in it. And with adding the zucchini to the beans made it a little moister than not. But it's, I cut it in tiny little, tiny little cubes. So I will just eat like a couple little cubes. So that's what I did. And then I, then I decided I better start drinking some water because I really don't drink water. And I found in the closet, I had bought those flavor packets 
that are supposed to be no caffeine in them, but they're supposed to give you, it says energy packets on them. They're just little long packets, and they're supposed to be two servings in it, and I measured it out, and it's a, it's a teaspoon, so a half a teaspoon would be half the packet, because I didn't know how much was in the package, and to just pour thinking you're going to get half of it, you could get a little over half or a little under half, so I measured it to see what's in there, and there's a teaspoon, so I'll put a half a teaspoon into my water and drink that. That's what I did, and that's what I've been doing, and I forgot to leave a little spot for my chickens. <laughs> I, well, I can leave that now. We'll go to the chickens. I wanted to show you that the girls are getting along. There's Rhonda with her two that just ran over, and the other three were with uh, with Silver. So they kind of know who's supposed to be with who. So far, with the wing development, I think I have one boy so far. Or maybe two, I don't know. No, maybe, maybe one. I'm just looking at the wings and the tails right now. And only one of them has the wings that aren't developed very far. So that one could be could be a boy. I'm not sure. Well, there they are. They're getting along well. It's about time. Somebody asked if Silver was going to get redder again. She will eventually. Right now, she's just kind of... Um, I don't know. She's still... I think when she starts to lay eggs again, her face will get red. It takes a little while. Even Rhonda's is a little bit paler. But it's because she's not laying eggs right now. So that's the chicken update. Oh, look at that. One baby is taking a little nap. How cute. See it over there? It's resting in this thin dirt. I'm going to try to come in. Hopefully they stay put. See, she's just laying there. I think that one is a girl because see the wings? It's a lot of wing there. Wing development. Um, I think this one, whoops, the one that just ran. The one that's behind Rhonda. I think that one is the boy. Ooh, he just keeps running. Sorry, babies, they're afraid of the camera. I think you're a girl. I think you're a girl. I think you're a girl. I hope so. That means there'd be just one boy. That would be nice. There's the boy. Oops, he's real skittish. The girls are not paying attention to me, but he is. Hmm. Well, there they are. And this little sweetie. Whoops, he's coming over. Says, I'm coming over too. Well, that's the chick, little baby chicks and the mamas. Yes, that's Rhonda. And Silver. And what are you ladies doing? You're checking me out to see what's going on. And there's Dorothy. She's taking a little she's taking a little dust bath too. Oh Dorothy, you're alright. I'm not gonna bother you. And that other one is Emma. Hello, Emma. Emma's really fluffing. Emma is the star of the show. And there's Brownie. I'm so glad that Brownie was not still broody. And these are my teenagers over here. And there's the Isumani. Hello there, Rosie. Look at you, you're so pretty. You really are, you've got the iridescent feathers. They're really pretty. And here comes another buff walking up here. We'll just pay attention to Rosie for a minute because she gets real skittish too when I get too close. I'll try and catch her. There she goes. Well, hello there, ma'am. Oh, and there you go. That's my, that's my Americana. See the back of its tail? Those are the dark feathers of my Americana. Are you looking into the camera? Yeah, I thought you were going to peck it. And of course, there's still dust bathing. This is why I like the dirt in the inside run. 
because in the winter they get to do this too. They take dust baths. Even though there's snow on the ground, they're able to dust bathe in the inside run. I had to move Blackie again from her nest. She was on the wrong eggs again. We'll go take a look at her. And there's Blackie. Boy, I just barely open the door and start to put my hand like I'm gonna move her. And she starts biting me. She's really a feisty girl. Very feisty. It'll be interesting to see how she does with her babies. The Isumani is in here. And the teenagers are in here. They've been they've been spending more time closer to the closer to this enclosed run. They used to usually are under the pine tree. But they've been coming closer. There's my other black bird. And my beautiful pretty boy. He's standing there so proud. And there's his sidekick, of course. She's always right there. She's never far. Okay, ladies, you're gonna be in my video today. And you too, pretty boy. Yes, you with your beautiful feathers. You could do a nice crow before I leave if you would. I don't think you're going to, but you could. They're really digging a hole. You're getting bugs that are down there for those babies. Silver is really a digger. You'd think their nails would wear down, but their nails are very long still. That one little hen likes to sit a lot. It's sitting again. I have to open the door, little baby. You're going to have to move. I'm sure you will. I've got to leave. I wanted you to see how the chickens were doing. I had a question how the two mamas were doing, and I wanted to show that they are getting along very well. Um, Rhonda has two of the hen, two of the little chicks, and Silver usually has three. But you'll, it's kind of confusing as to who's got what right now because they were both there together dust bathing. So, and I tried to, and in my video, I'm trying to figure out how many boys I have and how many girls I have. It looks like I have four girls. I'm hoping I'm right. And oh. one, and one rooster. Because I'm looking at the development of the wings. The girls' wings will develop a lot faster and they will get a tail. Well, the one little chick... His wing, that one's wings are not very, very developed and it's got almost no tail. So I'm thinking it's a boy and I'm thinking the others are girls. I sure hope so. Well, that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed my ramble about <laughs> Chef AJ and the ketogenic way of eating and what I'm going to try to do to fit my own. I'm making my own plan, I guess, is what I'm doing. So I hope you enjoyed this little chat, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.